everyone welcome to another video in this video i will discuss an important concept for developers in power pages most of the times what we see while designing web pages in power pages or power portal we use web templates right now today in this class i will tell you that how you can use or inherit web templates so we will discuss web template inheritance called as short form template inheritance using one template information in a, a child template and using after using that uh, parent template inside a child template how we can replace some areas of the parent template in child template so we'll see how we can do that so let us directly go to the uh, power portal management app portal management where i want to find out a web template that i want to actually so we will use two liquid code one is block another is extend using this block and extend we can implement template inheritance let us find out a uh, i have already uh, used let me find out that uh, layout for you the parent layout so i want to filter by layout okay so this is the layout one column this is the parent uh, web template i have created where uh, the code is like uh, we have a develop uh, we, we have a division class is container and we have a page heading uh, which is the another uh, division after container which display the breadcrumb you can see here so this is the breadcrumb actually in the template and this is the header right so breadcrumb then after that uh, we have a row which will display main content in left side it will display main content using a block called as main so block block uh, liquid code is used to define a specific section or specific block uh, inside a web template optionally that can be overridden in child class for example uh, here there is another division we have taken and defined as block aside I have not kept any uh, content inside this block, but we can keep any sample content. Uh, sample uh, content, right? I can put any content here yeah, because this is a block, right? But this block, whose name is aside, must be, uh, and I want to override this block content uh, when the child template will extend this layout one column template. So we'll see that that's why we have taken a block uh, segment here by giving a name as a side. You can give any name of your choice and give some sample content. So this is a web template that will be treated as a parent web template. So save it. I want to just save it. So layout one column is the web template that I want to extend by another web template so go to another web template i have created another web template uh, for example i have created a web template whose name is just filter it uh, i have created the temp web template whose name is called as directory so this is the web template i have created okay so here i am using the parent web template using extend so extend liquid code will insert the parent web template inside your current web template i have taken a web template name directory template and here i am using layout column template which is the parent web template in the parent web template i have a block as i told you that name is aside so using block aside i can override the content of the aside block which is in parent template now i have just uh, included another web template inside this child child web template i have created another web template where i am i have written some uh, liquid code to fetch some account information uh, let me show you that this one i have created a third web template which i want to display in the aside block so this is the web template where i have written some fetch xml uh, I'm, I'm fetching account information uh, and checking here if the current login user uh, is having a 
account global access permission then only display the account names in a list right so this is the if, if grant uh, if the global permission is not granted it will display you don't have a permission to access the directory right so this page xml is placed in a web template and i want to use this web template inside the SID block of the parent web template uh, while using in the child so this is the child web template which is the parent web template let, let, let me filter it in better way uh, filter by contents or let, let me uh, short it clear the filter and define the uh, modified on short so this is the three layout directory one column and directory template and directory this is the three uh, web template i have created layout one represents as a parent and directory represents as a fetch xml to uh, to fetch only the account information and uh, directory template is used as a child so this child is using uh, the layout one column parent template using extend and i am overriding the aside block of parent web template by using a block uh, block liquid code and i am calling here the third web template to display or to render the account information so to include uh, existing web template inside a web template another web template you can use include but extend can be used to use inheritance property of web templates include will just uh, render the existing web template inside another web template but if you want to modify something in the uh, parent web template you have to use extend and remember extend line should be initial step then you can override the block okay now how it will work let us see when i have uh, let me synchronize and preview it and to use this uh, web template uh, directory template i have created a web uh, page template if i'll go to page template uh, i have created this one extend pt which is connected to the directory template which is the child web template using the parent template and overriding with directory template then i have created a web page using this uh, create option page create option and created this page and used the uh, page template whose name is extend pt while creating creating the uh, page right if you want to create new just use plus and click on custom lay layout and choose your layout here this is this one uh, extend pt is the extend page template i have created uh, which internally uses the web template right now if you uh, synchronize and preview it it will display the uh, information for you let me preview this now this is the page that has been loaded where the header is displaying on the top breadcrumb is displaying here and this is the main block this block is the main block and this is the side block which is a side block and this is showing the directory information which is actually a web template rendered here okay this is the aside block of parent page template and in this aside block i am rendering a existing web template information here i can use static information here also but to show you how include works how extend works and how inheritance works i have used this scenario i hope you understand uh, thanks everyone guys this is a very important use case you can use in your projects thanks everyone